Hey hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you are watching Backup Baba. So I hope you must have gone through my previous video which was on the topic of Vim Backup and Replication Installation. So today in this video, I am going to teach you how you can create a backup repository in Vim Backup and Replication. Uh, because first you have to understand like how uh, to install Vim Backup and Replication, uh, then only you will be able to create a backup repository. So I will request uh, all of you, if you have not watched, then please go and watch my previous video. So uh, before wasting our time, uh, let's move to create a backup repository in Vim Backup and Replication. So in the previous video, uh, I have showcased you like I have already installed Vim Backup and Replication. So now here, this, this is the Vim Backup and Replication console. So here, you just need to double click here. But before moving, uh, if you guys have not watched my previous video, uh, then just please go and watch it. Uh, what I will do, I will also copy the link, video link in the description box. So once you click, a pop-up will appear and it will ask to provide the credentials. So I am going to use the Windows Session Authentication and click on Click Connect. Yeah, so here you can see the console has opened and we call this console Vim Backup and Replication Console. So what we are going to perform today is to create a backup repository or you can also say a backup target. So basically a backup repository is the location where you are going to dump your backup data. So let's move uh, to create a backup repository. So in the left hand side bottom, you can see uh, there is an option of backup infrastructure. So just click on backup infrastructure and in the left hand side bottom you can see there is an option of backup repository so you just need to click on backup repository so here i have already created to a library so now we are going to create one more so just right click over the backup repository so you'll, you will get two options add backup repository and rescan so you just need to click on first option add backup repository so here once you click uh, you will get four options so here the first option is direct attached storage so the direct attached storage can be your internal hard drive or any LUN coming from any direct attached storage so so the second option is network attached storage so it can be your NAS storage or any shared path uh, over there you can uh, dump your data so the third option is deduplicating a storage appliances so as you know uh, there are multiple uh, vendors which which provide the deduplication storage like Dell EMC data domain, ExaGrid, SPS store. So you can integrate that deduplication appliances and you can dump your data over there. The fourth one is object storage. So if you want to dump your data over the cloud storage, so you can go with the fourth option. So once you click, you can see uh, there are multiple cloud storage through which you can integrate uh, with Beam backup and replication. So now going to back. So today we are going to attach uh, our direct attached storage. So once you click on direct attached storage, it will ask either you want to uh, integrate your storage with Microsoft Windows or Linux. So in our case, uh, I'm going to uh, do with the Microsoft Windows. So just click on Microsoft Windows. So here you have to provide a name. So right now I'm going to provide internal disk. I'm clicking on next so once you click next uh, it will ask uh, to add new drive or if you want to populate just click on populate it will fetch uh, the drive informations which are available on your server so here in my case uh, there is C drive and E drive so I'm going to use C E drive as a backup repository so just selecting it and clicking next yeah, so in the next page, uh, it is asking to provide a path of the folder where uh, the data will get dumped. So here I'm going to give in e drive vim underscore disk. So here I have given the path. So all the data which are going to backed up uh, will get dumped in this folder. So here you can see there are two more options. So the first option is saying like how many concurrent tasks you need you want to perform. 
so by default it is four if you want to change you can change it so in the second option there is a check mark uh, to restrict the limit uh, read and write uh, rate so if you want to uh, restrict the read and write rate so you can go with the second options and uh, otherwise you can uncheck this one so now clicking next yeah so once you click next this page is talking about the mount server so mount server basically helps to uh, do the instant vm recovery uh, file and application item recoveries so here uh, this is the default path so if you want to change so you can change it from the browse option or if you want to change the port number of the mount port and the uh, vpower and fs port so you can also change it from here so i'm keeping it default and clicking next yeah so this is the review page so uh, this is talking about the uh, options which we have selected in the previous tabs so here uh, just click on apply button so in this page it is trying to uh, create the backup repository and trying to save the configurations which we have selected so you can see uh, we have got a check mark on every uh, messages so just click on next and this is the summary page so this is saying like uh, the windows backup repository with the name of internal disk was successfully created uh, and this is giving the path like the our backup folder path is e under e drive there's a folder with the name of v underscore disk and we have given the right throughput that is unlimited and concurrent task we have given uh, is four so once you click on finish you can see uh, backup repository name with the internal disk has been created successfully so that's it guys for the, in this video i hope uh, you have enjoyed this video and found it informative uh, if you liked what you saw uh, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and help to subscribe to my channel so basically by subscribing uh, you will be notified whenever we release new content we don't want that you miss any of our content also, if you would like to see more videos like this, please do not forget to hit the bell icon uh, to receive the notifications and stay updated uh, with our latest videos. Once again, thank you so much guys for watching. We look forward to see you in the next video very soon. Take care. Goodbye.